Yeah, this is what I mean. If a horse is still this fast, what do you mean seventh? This is what I mean, bro. This game doesn't always make sense. It just, it just doesn't. So, Galaxy Star up in the lead oaks. 12 furlongs. Naked Legends is the uh, favorite. I like our chances better, honestly, but, you know, we'll see. It's it's kind of a bad field, to be honest. All these horses with, like, these super long names and stuff. And it's only, like, three of us that are supposed to finish in the money. That's the top three. Yeah, not a great field. So I think this is really our race to win and lose. If we lose, it's probably pitiful. She's not fast enough anymore, so I definitely got to get her going a lot sooner. But she still has 76 stam. That helps out a lot. Helps out a lot. 12 grade ones for this girl in her career. She's five years old now. She is considered one of the old gals, but gosh, she still runs like she's three years old, man. In certain days. And what do you know? Her stable mate, I'm sure she looks up to Butterfly Effect, has the record here. <clears throat> okay. We're off in the lead oaks with Galaxy Star. It's an okay start. Gotta get her to the front, make sure she doesn't go too fast because. Alright. Thank goodness she still has endurance above 75. It gives us a lot of flexibility with how early I want to run her in the stretch. And that's the beauty of having a horse with really good stamina. You can play around with when you want to start them. Because you know even if you start them earlier than usual, they're not going to tire out. You can't do that on every horse. If you do that on the wrong horse, you will lose the race, right? We all know this. So it's good when you have a horse like her. She's not going to tire out. Unless, obviously, I get her going at, like, 4.5 furlongs on the whip. That, that's an obvious time, but under normal circumstances. And, like, are we blocked here? Is this horse really blocking us? I'm trying to see if we're actually blocked. We're actually blocked. That's insane. They're... <sighs> yeah, this horse is just upsetting both of us, really. <clears throat> Yeah, move over. Thank you, bro. Move out, move over. So we can, yeah. Good job. Wow, the AI actually doing something smart. This is what I mean. It, didn't mean to do that. But this is what I mean. If they would only do that in the stretch run too, gosh, I would be such a happy camper. It would just make more sense for the AI logic, you know, of the game. It would make it be, you know, it would make it, you know, not so clunky and weird. Okay, who is that running with me? Regular flavor. Yeah, no. Get back. <laughs> Get back. No offense. Get back. I thought that was one of the like the three favorites we had to contend with. Yet yeah, no. Like good try, regular flavor. Better luck, maybe never? I don't know. Gosh, that horse almost fell out of the top ten. What <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Galaxy Star, 13th grade one win at 12 furlongs. Two years past her prime. Still kicking butt, bro. Still kicking butt. Gosh, we are really getting some strong girls now, aren't, aren't we? Hey, they can run for a long time. Gosh, imagine the day. That happens like in... I don't know about the rest of the world. I'm speaking really North America. You know? We really get a dominant Philly that obviously turns mayor that can... And I know there's probably a couple around, but I mean, they're not making, like, noise noise. I'm talking about, like, the noise of, like, wow, this girl is winning grade ones every year type of girl. That's who these horses are. I really would like to have the day that we have that here, on, you know, in the North American scene for a Philly. It would be nice. The girls deserve more attention, man. There are some really, really awesome fillies and mares that are doing some pretty good things. And I just feel like they always just kind of get overshadowed, you know? If they're not in the big talks of the biggest girls at that time. And, and there's a lot of really good ones, I think. Jaden's Champions up in the lead sprint. 
it, it's a sprint. He's got, well, his speed is, he's already peaking, in fact. He's halfway through his three-year-old season. And his glorious 91 speed that he was at, or 93, has already dropped to 88. So I feel like he's going to fall off a cliff pretty quickly. I feel like that speed that was in the 90s may be down to the 60s by the end of his four-year-old season. I have no anticipations of racing him that long. Uh, I think he's still he's got th- two grade one wins. He's still got two grade one wins, four wins out of eight starts total. His 48 stamina just makes him just not... You know, just something I, I just don't want to put too much time into. Same with Sedate Dancer. I want to give them a fair chance. That's what I'm trying to do, but I... We don't have any horses with that bad of a, sta- a stamina stat rating on either side for the studs or, or the brood mares, so I can't possibly retire one of these horses and replace them with e stamina. I just that's going backwards and undoing so much work. Not unless I was just going to try to build like a uh, a specific line with those two as parents. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, imagine, I'd have to breed those two together. And all that would give us is just still a really fast horse with absolutely abysmal stamina. And then after that, I'd have to find a better broodmare or stud. But in reality, I don't have to breed them together. I could just breed them individually with really good parents. Whoever that is. Now, I'm starting Jaden really late because, again, he doesn't have the stamina to stay up there for long. And wow. Dude is fast. How fast is he? Can he close in a furlong? That's the question. He's driving. He's driving. Gosh. Ah, oh, he's so fast, man. Why do you have to have 48 speed? If you had 65 speed, you would be the perfect horse right now. You would literally be a champion. Like, second place. Supposed to finish seventh. Psh. Gosh, he's still so fast. Like, it just... Oh, man. It doesn't make sense. Neither of the parents had anything close to, to 48. They were both at least 65 and up. So how he just manages to get 48, I don't know. Such a shame, bro. Now, I see that's clearly the way to run him. But it's like, he's mid. If the pack is super separated, how far back can I keep him, you know? If he was a proceeder, he'd probably benefit from that a little bit more, but... Gosh, he can still fly, man. Golden time. He's up in the lead stakes. Ten and a half furlongs. Leads, 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 and more leads, apparently. Second favorite behind Pure Ruin. In fact, we're co-favorites, really, so whatever. Uh, this dude is pretty dangerous as a closer, I- I've realized. He's peaked already. That That's fine. But he's still strong enough to be competitive. Um, so, yeah, let's see if we can get it done. Gosh, Jaden's champion. That dude is so fast. But again, like, I can't... I mean, is that the only way we... That the only way we can win? We have to run him like that every time and just hope that the rest of the field is slow enough for us to get there in time? Or, do I need to keep him a little bit closer? Get him going a little bit sooner? He doesn't... You saw his stamina t- pretty much tapped as soon as he crossed the finish line. He, he was eventually going to start tiring out if we had to keep running him like that. So it's like... I think the timing worked. I just think the field was separated by more lengths than expected. If that field was only separated by, what, two or three lengths, he's winning, right? But when the field is separated by what seems between seven to to ten lengths, and in order for him to be happy, I have to run him towards the back end of wherever the field is. You know, that's... It's like he's he's really got to be... I mean, he's got to be faster still. And that's, it's no, it's, it's taking nothing away from the horse. But it's like, you know, you understand the type of horse you need to be on to sometimes make those type of really late drives work. That horse has got to be crazy, crazy fast. Maybe, perhaps, a couple months ago when Jaden was still 93 speed, maybe he would have been fast enough to, I think, close in. In fact, I think he would have been, clearly. But, you know... This goes to show you, it just depends on the timing. Sometimes just the horse's stats aren't where they need to be at the time that they need those type of wins. That's really all it is. So they're going to fan out here, thankfully. I'm just trying to find a gap, but gosh, nothing looks open. I don't like it. 
Dude, nothing is open. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to take him outside. Yep. Yeah, nothing was open, bro. I did not like it. We're going to go now. Push off now. Push off now. Horses are still running with us. Incredible. Okay. Game on, brothers. And whomever. That might be checkmate, but the four has something to say. That's all legend making a late run. All legend actually making a little bit of a late run, but don't think it's going to be enough. And then here comes the ten. Ah, wow. Golden time is pretty nice as a closer, man. I mean, he just he gets, as long as you get him in front at the right time, he just pulls away. And he's strong enough to stay there till the end. So, good stuff for golden time. Second grade one win. Working on the mid-champ title already. A horse that can run this distance like that, pretty nice, man. And make it easy, I, I like it. Hmm. He's already peaking. It's too late for a GWS run with him. I'm just going to see if I can title collect with him for a bit. Because he's, he's, he's fun to work with, honestly. I didn't know how I was going to feel about him initially, but I, I, I understand him now. Really fun dude to work with, man. Gosh, like, yeah, he has he has quite a burst once he really hits the scene, man. So he is a real closer. You guys know I love my closers, man. Um, Galaxy Star, we're not putting you in a. What else do you still need? She needs mid champ title. I thought she had one. Does she not? Apparently not. Let me see. Yeah, no, she doesn't have any of, like, the actual, like, distance titles, so mid-champ title. We need to get you in, like, another, oh, whatever is going to suit you. It doesn't really matter what. Uh, LA Turf. Yeah, three-year-old fillies and up. Let's go ahead and run her there. Cleopatra, they want you in the mile? Is that even what you're chasing either? I think Cleopatra has a long champ title. I think she does. Yeah, she has a long champ. So mid champ or sprint. And I think we're working on the mid. So I'm not going to race her in that race. Save that for one of the three year olds. All right. You need a mid champ length race, which you can actually run. What's higher? Her stamina right now? Hmm. I don't know if I should put her in the um, the Saturn or the New York. Let's see. Ten furlongs. Ten furlongs might suit her a little bit better. I think she could still win at 12, but if I'm just trying to stack mid-champ titles, which is what I need to do anyway, so let's just run her 10. Duh. All right. Um, Jaden. Gosh, dude. I got to get you in another grade one. I just feel like you're still fast enough to be competitive. I just... Paris, uh, I'm not putting you in the GWS Aquarius. There you go. Seven furlongs. You should be able to make that work. Set eight. You're all set. Joker. Right, are we good with everybody? Oh, I lost a horse for a second. I was really going to freak out. It's the thing. I have so many now. I don't want to accidentally skip over one for racing. And then, again, like you end up losing. So, golden time. Not doing too well here. Um, so that's a second. That was a second win at ten. So yeah, mid champ. Well, whenever you can run again at nine and a half or higher. Not putting you in any of those races. Granted, he may be necessary to block somebody. So maybe I should. Uh, I don't want to. I can't sit around for too long though, because then he won't. The game might take him away. It's like nothing available for you though. Somebody will be in the turf. Somebody will probably be in the dirt. Six for the burning wind's not gonna be fast enough for this, so can he run on the dirt? Uh he could be fast enough to win, but it's probably a stretch. So Oh. He'll be in the green though. If I run him in this. I was trying to. Th I, I have to think about races he can realistically win. I, I shouldn't just throw him into anything, right? Long Beach Derby. That's kind of a, a long way off. 
I gotta be honest. I think he's good enough to win in the green. I'm gonna run him in his England king. And if he needs a little bit of a rest after that, that's fine. But I, I think he's competitive enough to be able to win that race. I would hope so. I mean, I guess we'll see, right? So I think we're good with everybody. We can proceed onwards. Uh, what horse did I... There was a horse I wanted to look for, right? I forgot the horse's name already. Yeah, I can't even remember, man. That stinks. Uh, what was that horse's name? Yeah, I can't remember. It'll come back to me, hopefully. Big hopefully. No guarantee. I could just forget that horse's name until I see it again. <laughs> Miss Vaporwave. She's up for her second trip here. And uh, she is the favorite. So a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure. Botched her first race. So thank goodness we get a, a retry. She is a proceeder. We know that for sure. I think I ran her as a front runner because she broke so well. Wasn't a good idea. Um, right, so, yeah, she didn't, yeah, just, she just proceed her, keep her there, I don't know where her stamina will be, I think it should be okay, I think her stamina should be alright, it shouldn't have anything close to Sedate Dancer, I hope not, so, I'm still gonna be careful, and just make sure I kind of hold her just a bit, but not to the point where I'm starting her too late. Just sometimes, if the horse doesn't have the, the stamina, I can't send them too early, right? Then they tire out. We we know the horses we can do that on. You can send them a little bit earlier if you need to beat a certain horse, and they'll still be able to hold on to the end. I know I don't know if this filly can handle that. I don't know. Uh, that is yet to be determined, so that's why I just kind of have to be smart about it. Like, I don't think she'll have last corner leader or anything like that as an ability. I don't think so. Newman wants to get over, so that's fine. We are the favorite, so we do have to win this race. Are you moving in or what, bro? Because, like, I'm going to stay here because I don't trust you guys up there. Okay, you're moving in. Cool. Okay, she's got a good run here. Good run. So, she, so then she says we're running her too fast. How much slower am I supposed to go at that point in the race? Does she have to start later as a proceeder? That doesn't make sense. Well, hang on, please. Please hang on. Thank goodness. Okay. Gosh, the field was coming, though. <laughs> That's the second time it's happened. That's a little bit weird. I, we, I haven't raced on a horse like that in a while. That would sometimes be like, oh, wait, this is too fast, too early. And she sets the record. Wow. I, what? So was she running faster than what she was capable of? Is, is that what the game is telling me? Wow. That didn't even feel like a record type of setting race, but gosh, she set that. And we run our two-year-olds in that race often so every time we bring a new two-year-old to that track we're gonna see miss vapor wave with the record because apparently i was running her too fast like what i mean to me like does uh, i'm saying that seems to only happen on horses that don't quite have the stamina for it yet unless you're running them really fast for a long time that that was barely even two seconds i've raced horses much harder and they've been fine literally completely fine in the blue so, interesting. I mean, she got a great win as she was supposed to. I'm just, I'm curious. I just want to know what her stats are looking like. So, we'll see. But good win for her. My master, I decided to buy her. This two-year-old filly. I want to see how she is. If I don't like her, then I'm, I'll do what I usually do and just kind of just set a race. Or just, actually, I won't even set any race for her. I'll just let the game take her away. Um, Seventh favorite. Her growth type. She's at her peak, so the fact that she's expected to finish 7th with these stats is kind of crazy, bro. But she is also a dirt horse and not a turf horse, so that would also explain why she's not expected to do well, and I knew that. 
I knew that. But even still, I think with her speed, seventh is still kind of low. We've had horses that are slower that have been able to win dirt G1. So I, I do think the game is being a little bit weird with giving her seventh just because she's just a dirt horse. And we'll see. I've never raced with her, but I, I hope she's fast enough. I think she's still fast enough to win on the turf at seven. I don't know if it's tougher for a turf horse to win on dirt or vice versa. I'm sure you guys know. I, I don't really know. I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Turf is faster. There it is, dirt, obviously. Okay, she's supposed to be a proceeder, and I'm not racing her as that. That's not a good... But we get a 7 somehow. Okay, she's saying we're running a little bit too fast, and that makes sense. Okay, well, we're expected to finish 7th, so let's see if we can defy those odds. Now let's see how much she has in the tank to hold on here. She's holding on quite nicely. Still holding on. Still holding on. Yeah, this is what I mean. If a horse is still this fast, what do you mean seventh? This is what I mean, bro. This game doesn't always make sense. It just, it just doesn't. I'm just like, a horse that's still that fast, even if they have a dirt preference and not turf, they're still fast enough to win on the turf if you race them right, to me. Especially if you're just going in a straight line. That's why I'm like, seventh, no, that that's still low. That's still low. Third would have been more appropriate. I would have been like, okay, fine, third. That's respectable. Depending on the field. But like, come on, bro. Two-length winner. Well, she's staying around for the time being. I haven't even raced her on dirt. That's on turf. She wins by two lanes. So, gosh, I could throw her in the GWS really now. She could probably win out every race, really. Uh, Burning Wind has got one more shot, though. So you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to get her in the next GWS dirt race. Because uh, Burning Wind, he's got to win next time out, obviously. You know what, actually? I forgot. She can't... She's not three. Uh, we can get in the World JF Cup. That's perfect. I'll just save her till that race. I'm still not decided if I'm going to breed with her yet. I, You know what I mean? She's She's got the speed. Really got to find the right sire... Um, I don't like fast pace. Not good. I, I do. I don't like that ability because we've had several races of, of a fast pace. Fortunately, with her, I mean that's her first time. No fast pace. But what happens when that happens? You know, it's been a while since I've raced on a horse with that ability, so I, I don't like what it felt like. So that's why I'm undecided if I'm going to use her for breeding. And obviously we'd have to be very selective. You know, sprinting line exclusively. Sprinter that matches her speed, if not better, realistically. One of the studs. I don't even know if... One of them probably has double S for speed. I don't remember who. I think we're good, right? So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about all that. She was interesting to me. I wanted to see if she'd be worth it. Just because I buy a horse doesn't mean I 100% intend to use them for breeding. That. Last time I checked, the game isn't requiring you to make that commitment. You can buy a horse, try it out, see if you like it. And if you don't, you don't have to like use it for breeding. That's what I'm doing with her. I'm seeing if she'll be worth it. Because, again, she's really fast for a dirt filly. You don't really see those come through the shop too often. So, there's an opportunity I'm looking into to see if she'll benefit to the better of the dirt pedigree. Because we don't really have like a dominant one at the moment. <laughs> She could help start one. Maybe. So we can keep the door. Two-year-old filly. Up again in the Grand Canyon Stakes. She is the favorite. Running six furlongs. Should be easy. And, um, yeah, her distance is nine. Starts at nine, but... 
think she should be good enough to still win, even as a sprinter. I think she should be strong enough for that. Full sister to uh, her older brother, Joker's card. He's proven he can win at the, the short distances. Didn't last time out, but still. Fast enough to be up there, so I think she should be able to do the same. Regardless of what their actual preferred distance is, I think they're definitely built for longer races, but again, I think they're strong enough to win some short ones, too. She is very comfortable, which is fantastic. No rough on this track, which is nice. Now, are you moving all the way to the rail? You are. Ugh. How annoying. That's fine. That's really fast fractions here. It's just us, and who is this? Flying Cupid. Wow. We both have a chance to actually win this race. So here we go. Let's get going. Flying Cupid definitely got started way too late. And... Gosh. Soy Conquistador. From Diamond playing out of Chasing Hearts. The younger sister to Joker's car gets it done easy, man. What was the rest of the field doing? They really let us both get away like that. <laughs> if you know you have two strong front runners in a field like that, that can run very strong at the front and can maintain that pretty much all the way through the stretch, you have to keep them closer, don't you? Because you're never going to catch up if you allow them to take off, and that's exactly what happened there. The field was separated by eight lengths once us and Flying Cupid took off. Horses that are that strong at the front, you got to keep the field closer. Otherwise, nobody's going to catch them. Mythical, our next two-year-old filly, looking to hopefully try to get herself a win. She's uh, expected to finish fifth. Gives us a chance. She's right in there. Pink Amber is the favorite. Mythical, she is from Moonbee at Elise Gold. Close race okay is one of her abilities. 62 speed, so she's not that fast. I don't think she's... I feel like for some reason the game isn't going to give her great speed. She'll peak probably in another year and a half to two years. I feel like her speed at tops will maybe hit a little high 79. If that. It's only 62 right now. Um, now she could have a later growth type, but Moonbee again, he peaked at a pretty normal range. He did, you know... I think Moonbee peaked like at the end of his three-year-old season, heading into his four-year. He peaked quickly. No, no sustained things going on. So I suspect she's on the same trajectory, which means her stats aren't going to jump up crazy. If it's a 62 speed right now, I don't think that's hitting 82 like I would like, unless she has a serious growth spurt in these next, you know, two years maybe. But. I think she'll have a couple of stats in the mid 70s, maybe one above 80. I could see that. This seems like maybe Lee. Uh, yeah, I'm still on. I'm still on the fence about Lee's gold. I don't want to cast her out as like the reason why it seems these recent foals from her are like just kind of not getting great stats all of a sudden. Maybe because Lee Lee's gold was old at the time. I don't want to just say it's her. And got going a little bit late here. But um, hopefully that doesn't ruin our chances completely to finish in the top five. It may have, though. I gotta admit, I was not paying attention, and still plenty of race left to go, but is she gonna... Top five is still probably asking way too much. Yep. Asking way too much, unless she really closes here, but I waited too long. Uh, I, I just... I picked the wrong times to doze off. I do. I apologize for that, because that's... Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm doing it. I, today the answer, she's up. I just I get nervous. I, we just we just have these fillies, man. I don't want to lose anybody. But gosh, like I can I don't know why. It's always at that part of the race. I just completely zone off. I have no answers. I have absolutely no answers. It's like I'm so bored through like the the, the main stretch of the race because usually you're just on a back stretch, just riding or whatever. And then when I'm supposed to be locked in, I get locked in a little bit, and then I just kind of yeah, I drift off. I really do. 
just goes to show you I should be focusing more on the task at hand and not drifting off into outer space and causing my horses to lose races that they shouldn't be losing. Oh, trust me, I, I am aware of this. I am very aware of this. I have to do better at some point. Yeah, I have to do better at some point. Now, today, Dancer, I'm just getting her closer to the front because we were really far back. Like, I don't know if that horse is going to move in just to probably move out again, as usual. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold her because, again, we need, need to see how she runs. There's Strong Heart. Okay, so she's got to be a little bit behind the field. She's got to be right there in the mix. She's fighting, she's fighting, but gosh, she's still not really making up a lot of ground. Okay, she is, I mean, that's a decent effort. She hits her goal at the end. Um, that's how you tap into heart. You have to be, like, right in the mix. Huh. Yep, I, I still don't think her and Janie's champion will be worth it for breeding. I still think we got to... Avoid that unless we again stick to very st strict breeding lines with them. You know, very strict. If they need speed, we stick to speed. If they, you know, like whatever it is, we wouldn't be able to fluctuate. So, hey, rulers here. Uh, has he? Yeah, we, yeah, we phrased against them. We are the eighth favorite. Tougher field today for sure. So, hey, ruler, far serious, hot family, vast delight. Like all of the big hitters are here today. And a citrus flavor, the only girl in the field. Expected. Expected to finish six, so tall task for burning win. If we can't net a top three, then I think I have to pull him out of the series because I mean we're gonna need a win at some point. Constantly getting second, I don't think is gonna win us. We at least need one win. At least. That just gives you the amount of points you need just in case you know you have to win it by two points, which we've had to do, or four points, or you know, one point. So, fast delight with the record. It's going to be a tough task, man. Tough task. I mean, Burning Wind certainly doesn't have the speed as these other dirt horses. He's still very competitive, and that's what's keeping him in this fight. But he's got to dig down and find something else here today. A revolution would help, but I don't stress out trying to get revolutions. Like, I just I try to run my horse how, how they're supposed to run, and I hope in the process of doing that, they'll be more likely to hit a revo. If I'm just fixated on trying to get it, then I'm probably not going to get it. I just need to get my horses in the right place, and everything takes care of itself. And, again, sometimes I'm just dozing off when I'm supposed to be doing that. See, Sedate Ruler's supposed to be at the front, but he's not. So as far as Sirius and Scotch Crystal, they all want to go for the front. Sedate Ruler, he usually does this, I've noticed. Like, if there's other front runners, he's usually one of the front runners that will always sit at the back of that pack. I've noticed it in almost all of his races where I'm going against him. If there's other front runners, he never seems to actually take the front if there's others. It's only when he's literally like the only one that can control the pace. So, you know, there's something interesting I noticed. Okay, Bernie, let's go, brother. Oh, Rebo, we needed that, but we'll still dig. He doesn't have the speed. He's not going to be able to hold these guys off forever. Nope. Ah, uh, we needed a Rebo there so bad. Must have just missed the timing. Today, Ruler's caught behind us. Was for a second. Burning Wind, he's still fighting really strong, though. Top three could still be on here today. Nope, top four. Ah, it's such a shame. He fights so well, man. He fights so well. And he's going against some of the best dirt horses in this part of the game, and... He's right there, man, but just Vast Delight sets the record. I mean, yeah, Vast Delight's kind of running away with this one for the time being, unless my master, unless she has something to say about it. I think her name would be really nice if it was Eminem. Get it? I mean, it's kind of not like the name, but it's a nice variation. I feel like she's the closest horse in the game with the name that could be Eminem, so that's the only way. Literally just M-N-M. -M, you know? 
Frugal Art, she's up in the Chestnut Stakes. 11 furlongs here in New York. She's still developing. She should be able to win this pretty easily. It's Frugal after all. Let's get right to it. So yeah, I'm going to try m and &M. That's what I'm going to call her. I'm going to try her out. In the uh, next dirt race we can. See how she does. Because, yeah, she's on great speed. Great speed. And one easily with her on the dirt. So I can only imagine... I mean, on the turf, excuse me. So running her on the dirt, her actual preference. She's able to fly. Again, I think we could get a really good breeding line from her. I mean, gosh, the speed of her... Well, Golden, golden Time's really not fast. He's just got the right stats in the right categories to make him a really strong and impressive closer, but he's not like lightning fast. Never was. So I, I wouldn't want to obviously ruin the speed of my master, a.k.a. m and &M, if you know, I bred her with a stud that had lower speed. She would certainly have to be with a stud just as fast. And I, again, I think two or three of them probably have double S speed, so I think that would maybe make her worthwhile for her speed. I think it would. Even if I were to breed her with a stud that has turf preference, I mean, okay, then we're still getting a horse that can run either either surface, more than likely. Width should be said high 90s, technically 100s if it's a 99 speed figure. That's what I'm thinking. I'm still not 100% certain yet because, again, I also got to think about horses to replace. And uh, there's still five are still with foal, so we can't do anything with them. And then the other three we still need to try, so that's the thing. I don't know. Game over. I don't know when's going to be the time to do that with Eminem if she turns out to be worthwhile. And as usual, <sighs> this is what always happens with Frugal Ark. I just love this horse. I'm in the zone. She's really easy to, to work with, and... You see the success she can have. And again, she's proving in 2003 she's a really good broodmare so far. Or she should be, I should say. So, um... I would imagine, man, she'll, she'll be really good to, for us to have in the barn in this game, too. Really do. I think she'll get us a lot of the success that we want. But, I mean, granted, she's still developing. That's, gosh, four or five years from now. Or she'll be retired... No, she'll still be able to run when she's seven, so. I'm not complaining, though. Frugal Ark is always a good horse to have around, man. We need her to play spoiler at any time for anybody in any series. She can do that. I'm confident she's totally that horse. You know, Frugal Ark, you know, Frugal Ark, she's like the matriarch. I mean, she could just do whatever. She could just do whatever you need her to do, for the most part, except the Dream Series. I mean, winning that is, is still a stretch. She's there. The game puts her there in those races, but winning it, not quite there. Anyways, good weekend, except for Mythical. Joker's card, still there in the sprint. Gosh, nobody's running away with that, which works out for us. We really need to take advantage of that. Solar Rider still clear, and then the Dirt Burning win. Only 12 points behind Vast Delight, though. Imagine, you know he's Vast Delight's not going to show up at one or two races at the end of the year. It's gosh, if we could just win a race, man, we'd be right there. I don't know. Take a quick break and then I'll we'll resume this episode and get back and probably finish these last couple of races through the month of September. All right, we are back and gotta get a couple horses and races. Burning Wind. Gosh, it's so <laughs> dude. If only he was faster, man. Like, the fact that he's still keeping up with 68 speed and 56 stand, that's incredible. But you look at his heart, his response, he still has enough to give it more than your average horse. From Flying Cowboy out of Fiery Dancer. I don't know what he'll be like for breeding, though. I don't know if he'll help that much. He still has great abilities. I think that'll continue to pass down. And he's also a direct descendant of Flying Cowboy, so... Still a good chance he could be worthwhile. I don't think he's as strong as Flying Cowboy, statistically, but... Uh, such a bummer, bro. Like, I think you could still can be competitive in the dirt, but then again, like, we're still struggling to win the races we need to win, and that's the problem, so... I want to try to win it with somebody, but 
my you know Eminem we just started with her I don't know if she'll have enough time no I've already raced her in the world JF cup what am I talking about never mind she's not gonna have a chance so we'll just keep burning wind in the wind of the the dirt title because like that's all we can clearly do um guys I thought about the plans way too stinking late so good job Eric Good job, Eric. So we need as many points as we can get. Run in the music us, because maybe Vast Delight won't be there. Maybe we can try to sneak away a win. Um, see, answer. Still trying to figure you out. Like, ugh. Game still keeping your stamina hidden. I know what it is. Like, she's still developing, but I don't know, man. I just, I know that stamina is bad, so that just kind of puts a big halt on a lot of what I think could be progress with the horse. Um, I want Frugal in the Princess Cup. You know what? Why not? Easy win. Four grade one wins already in her three-year-old season. It just, it's just Frugal doing Frugal things. Really nothing new. Golden time, you're set to go. Vixen, I think you're good. Vaporwave, you're good, right? Yeah, I'll see how Eminem does at that uh, dirt race. If she really blows it out of the park, I may consider building a breeding line with her. But So I can keep the door. Running into grade two, that's fine. We'll still keep you girls a little bit easy for the time being. Yeah, my master, I mean, she's already peaked. And like I said, the fast pace not good. I just, I don't want that on my horses. I want to know we can run fast if we have, at the higher levels of competition, you're going to have a fast pace sometimes, more often than not. I don't want that to be like a hamper to those future horses. I just feel like, to me, it's just like putting bears on a horse, right? Nobody wants, you just don't want that ability on any of your future offspring. Now, of course, me getting Vivid Legend, I took the chance of that because I liked Vivid. I wanted to see what horses we can get and for the most part the ability hasn't actually bit us in the butt with our horses that have gotten them but you still don't want it on there and sometimes you get it without even trying right i've gotten horses with bears without breeding for it right no it's just like you don't want it on a horse if you do it yourself that's your own thing of course but you know if you just get it out of the blue you certainly don't want it it's an ability you'd prefer to avoid. Like, if anybody uses Vivid Legend, I feel like it's kind of the same thing. You use them for a couple of horses, you hope that they don't get affected by the ability, and then you're done. That's all I do. It's not like there's 5 billion Vivid Legend foals running around in either game. As much as I loved them, I realized that Bear's ability I just didn't want on too many horses, you know? Figured on the right ones, they can handle it. It wouldn't be much of an issue. Unfortunately, that's been our experience. But fast pace not good to me is kind of the same thing. You just don't want that on a horse. Bears could hit you at the worst time. Fast pace, not good, especially against competitive fields. That could hit you at the wrong time. You know, I just, those are built, those are two abilities I just don't want on my horses. Sometimes I like to overlook, like I did with Vivid Legend and Bears. I want to see if, you know, my master, Eminem, if she could be worthwhile, but I don't know. Little Vixen, she's up 78 speed, so she'll actually be pretty fast, which is good from Diamond Planet to Pink Gemstone. Actually, she'll be pretty fast. I don't think she'll hit 90, though. I'd be surprised if she did. If she hit 90, that would be glorious. That means she would really be able to fly. I'm really thinking, though. It, it's probably just better just to focus on... Well, Cleopatra, she was actually really fast when... um. Her and Galaxy Star both were really fast at their peak. They may have the speed figure that I want. I just, I, I gotta wait till I retire them to see what their actual grade is. I don't know if they'll, I think they're definitely S level speed. I don't know if one of them is double S. One of them could be. I feel like one of them is, but I don't know who. If that's the case, we'll have the speed with the better stats, and then I wouldn't have to use, you know, I wouldn't have to use my master or anything, because again, the whole par par purpose of her is just to have speed on dirt. Now the other brew mares, or the other, yeah. The other soon to be brew mares. They're turf horses, but you know, we still have formal opera. 
we could get dirt right there. You know, we could breed Cleopatra or Galaxy Star with Formal Opera, and boom, you get the speed, which should be double S probably, plus the preference of either turf or dirt. And that's all I want. It's not like the horse has to be exclusively a dirt horse. I just want a horse that is very strong to run the dirt. And we just haven't had a horse like that as far as an original in quite some time. You know what I mean? So off this turn here with Little Vixen. She's clear. Furlong left to go. Still clear. Blowing this field away. She is supposed to win it. And Little Vixen from Diamond playing out of Pink Gemstone shows she can handle these races. And uh, it's not really a big deal to her. So gotta get her in a gotta get her in a grade one for sure. She did well in her first, so I, she's proven she can handle it. And again, foals from Pink Gemstone can always handle the tough races early, cause Pink Gemstone herself is just that type of horse. So that was a good open win there at nine furlongs there for Little Vixen, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more stats revealed about her. It's mainly why I put her in that race. But yeah, you know, I, I think realistically with Cleopatra and Galaxy Star speed, could probably get that speed I want without having to sacrifice the power and stamina that I'm trying to build. And that's what it would be with Eminem. She's got that speed, she's dirt bound, but again, fast pace not good. Who wants that on a horse? It's like, are you willing to sacrifice that just to get that speed when you probably already have Phillies just as fast? Um. Just, like I said, I need to see what their actual evals are. I don't know. Shallow Light, she's up in this open. She's got to finish eighth. Got to beat a couple of horses, but I've been feeling good with her, so I'm not too worried. 51 Stam, all of her stats are revealed. Very, very, very mediocre. From general reason, out of Irish Fleet, she's got good abilities. And, um, don't know what her speed is yet, but, Yeah. It looks like only one of, maybe, if her speed is above 60, it seems like only two or three of her stats will hit 70s, which is way lower than what I think General Reason and Irish Fleet had collectively. So that'd be quite uh, disappointing, to say the least. You know, but, um, yeah, it kind of is what it is, man. Kind of is what it is. Gotta get our girl to the front. Get to the front, please. Thank you. Alright, now slow down, slow down. Not too much, though. Just make sure we're at the front. That's all we need. Establish our lead here at the front. Get comfortable. Settle in. All that good stuff. Control the race. She's doing well. Well enough, I should say. Until, you know, let the horses block us. I didn't realize they were going to close the doors in on us like that. My gosh. It's usually a little bit smoother of a transition, and they just completely close the doors. And now I have no chance to really get back to the front unless this horse continues to send it. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Race ruined, effectively. So, um, shallow light. Could lose her. Now bumping, of course. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'd, of course, that that's my fault, I guess, right? AI overtook us. That shouldn't have happened. I mean, she's still fighting, but I know she's just going to drop, man. She's just going to drop, and she's dropping. Eighth ain't happening. Oh, brother. Oh dear, that's that's not what you want. Yeah. Um, certainly should have done a better job keeping her at the front. I did not do that, did I? I did not do that. So. Yep, that's disappointing. September Sky, three-year-old filly. She's up in the Victoria Stakes. Six for a long sprint. Let's see if we can get her one. She's not ready for the GWS yet, but she's getting there. I think next year as a four-year-old would be a perfect time to put her in there, to be honest with you. It's too late anyways. I tried with one race, didn't get the win, so 
I think next year she'll be in a much better spot to really kind of be more competitive in that race. Um, yeah. Really hoping that, um, obviously. She'll be at that point by the time she's four. Great start for September Sky. I think she'll be fast enough next year to win it for sure. As long as she's in mid 80s speed, that's fine. Unless there's an absolute speed demon we have to beat and still not impossible, but if she hit, she's mid-80s still by the next summer, she'll be fine to win it. I mean, she's clear right now, and I'm just going to keep her here. It's like, she's fine. She's wanting to do her race, and these other horses are just taking a nap, like kind of what I do. She's still clear. Still clear. I'll get her going. No Rebo. But, um, Forrest is going to try to roll up on us. That's Scott Show. There's no way. Oh, come on. September. Scott Show, huh? Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Could have gotten started earlier, I suppose, right? <sighs> come on, bro. Scotch Show. Yep, that's on me. That is on me. Wow, that stinks. Uh, uh who'd have had the bad race on? Mythical? No. Uh, Vixen? No, we won that race with Vixen. I realized the, the last race I'm thinking about. Keeper, open company for now. Shallow Light. 51 Stam. For her, which we already know. Still don't know what the speed is. And, uh, yeah. Worst race I've had with her so far. I had been doing so well, but I just completely... Yeah, I... I Shouldn't have allowed the field to close in on us like that. That's 100% my fault. So, got that going. September Sky. Um, yeah, really should have won that race, honestly, at six. Should have won it, and just like... Didn't happen, man. So, uh... Sprinter's Cup, I could get her there. I don't know who else is really going to run that race, but is she ready for it? I don't know what else to put her in, really. She's only got... Well, she's got three grade ones, but still. It's been a while since she's won. So I feel like if she was able to win as her stats were worse, I should be winning now, for sure. But, I've been running her at 6. Maybe she does need to be at 8. So, let me find an appropriate race for her. 10 furlongs would probably be better. Um, I don't know how she'll do on the dirt. 11 is kind of a stretch right now. I, wait, what's her stam uh, stamina? 66? Oh, you know what? She could actually run any of those races. So, what I'm going to do... I am going to run her 10. I'm going to run her into this hall stakes. I think that's a lot more appropriate. Run her there. See how she does. And then... Yeah, we'll just get through the last couple of races in this month. So I've certainly dropped a couple today. Complete lack of focus. Just kind of goes to show you. Uh, for the most part, though... I'm not mad at anybody's performance, really. Doing uh, well enough so far. 
I mean, all the GWSs are winnable. Like, I think Solar Rider is still going to win the turf. I'm not worried about that. Bernie winning the dirt is still going to be extremely hard unless we can get lucky and somehow surpass Bass Delight. And then in the sprint, it, the sprint is still completely wide open. Joker's card really just needs to bounce back, have a win, and get himself on top of that one. So we're still fine for winning the championships. The dirt is the only thing, and again, we kind of go through that a lot because we don't have a serious line of dirt horses yet. Vivid Eyes, or two-year-old filly racing with her again. Eight furlongs in this open. She is one for two. Trying to go for two for three from Vivid Legend out of Moon Trapper. At least she has abilities. Her mom didn't have any except for Southpaw. So, uh, this filly does have abilities. Still figuring out some things with her. Not a good feel rating or temper. 23 temper, 33 feel. So, she's if she's not happy with you, she's going to let you know pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah. Got to gotta get her in a better rhythm. Make sure I keep her there. That's the most important thing. Okay. So, it's a good start. I uh, want to get her a little bit more in front, though. Just keep going at this rate and start to move you in. All right. Okay. Much more ideal. That's the thing. I think as long as I keep her comfortable where she needs to be, she shouldn't give us too much of a problem, even with her bad temper. I mean, I've raced with these horses for a while, and this um, Moon Trapper more specifically. I know Vivid Legend, Moon Trapper. None of those horses really... I mean, Aunt B with, with her bad temper never really gives me a problem. It's just sometimes it seems like she flares up at the worst time, but... It never caused a serious issue for us. Now, can Vivid Eyes fight back? That's the question. Does she have the grit to fight back? And she is doing quite well. And, uh, yeah, she can fight back in deep stretch. Fantastic. And she's going to get her second win. And, uh, yeah, keep that on the up and up there for us. So, that's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So yeah, her temper and feel really aren't that bad. I just need to keep her in a good position as Proceeder, and she pretty much won't complain. I just think if you get her out of that, that's when she'll probably start to, you know, vocalize it in-game. But I think as long as I keep her right where she needs to be, top four, top five, whatever, close to the front runners anyway. It's just whatever the pace is, i got to keep her up there. She should be okay. That's probably the best way to handle a horse like that anyway, so... Good stuff there for Vivid Eyes. Let's get her another race. 64 Stam. So that's good to know. I mean, again, 64 and up. I, I'm not complaining about Stamina. I can work with it. I can win with it. Um, I'm going to run her a mile. I just want to keep her in these opens for now. I feel like building wins with her is pretty important. Because I'm still trying to figure out the rest of her stats. I don't know how powerful she is. Or how powerful she will be. I don't feel Solo Rider in there quite yet. You know what I mean? That's her half-brother. I don't feel that in her quite yet. So I Conquistador... I feel like she's pretty much like Joker's card. I think I can toss her into a great one sooner. Mythical, still trying to figure her out, obviously. Uh, Miss Vaporwave. One for two with her. Had the really bad opening race, then came back and won. But uh, she'll be better with her than Little Vixen. Um... Doing well with her. So I think it's just really vivid eyes that I'm being a little bit careful on. I think everybody else I should be okay with. Keyword it should be. So um, we still have how many more races this month? Just Let's see. We have Cleopatra, Galaxy Star, both in grade ones. Valley King is in a grade two. Joker's card is in the GAWS mile. And that should be it. So these last four will conclude the episode. And... It would be nice to go four for four down the stretch, but um, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> Valley King up, third favorite. I think he's still developing. He is. 
So as of now, still 91 speed. It's, I mean, 91 response has been that. But his stats are starting to come together a lot more now. Like, he was just at, like, 59 speed less than a year ago. So most of these stats in the 60s will hit 70s, maybe even 80 for the speed and the stamina by the time he had it, he's at his peak. From Vivid Legend out of Chasing Stars, his stats should be able to hit 80s. I'd be shocked if he just tapers off at, like, a 79. Bears, of course, not good. But those other abilities should help. I mean, Last Corner Leader gives you a little bit of stamina. Keeps your stamina where it's at for a little bit. Stretch Burst, you know. He has abilities that help. So he's an example type of a horse that I don't think bears will negatively affect. But, again, sometimes the wrong horses get that ability and then, you know, you're screwed. Um, so I would say I'm definitely going to try him on the, the Grade 1 campaign next year because his speed should be at a level where he should be competitive enough to maybe start winning some could i win some with him now sure but again still figuring out all of his stats and everything taking my time he's still got a little bit of developing to do so i'm not in a rush to start winning with him i really never thought he was going to be that type of horse anyways I was hoping he was just going to be a solid grade one champion and i never thought he was going to be like oh winning multiple grade ones at three i just with the growth type and with the stats, I'm like, yeah, that's going to be very, very hard to do. But I hope he continues to develop, and I hope he becomes a horse that can maybe get a title or two. That'd be nice. I don't know if I'll use him for breeding yet. He has good abilities, but again, he still has bears as well, and... It depends if his abilities make him better than Vivid Legend. Like, if having this guy back there instead of his father would be more beneficial to future horses, then I would consider it. But, I don't know. Because, again, you know, we, we want to make sure we have the right horses naturally. I think we'll always still keep a couple horses back there for just projects to try out kind of our favorite ones. But as far as, like, our main competition horses, we're always going to keep that kind of in a... In a good place, I would imagine. Okay, we gotta go now. Last corner leader, give it to us. Good run. Yep. Still clear. Furlong left to go. Valley King still clear. Three's reeling us in. Probably will get past us. We're not even supposed to be... Well, we are supposed to win the race. But I can't do anything if he's just gonna get beat at the wire. And he does. Just gets beat at the wire, but it's second place. So it's still a good effort and a pretty long grade too that was 11 furlong so wow record setting indian lark i mean that's not bad so if it takes you not being at your peak to just lose to a record setting indian lark in a grade two i think valley king might be all right but again we'll, we'll, we'll see once he continues to develop joker's card london mile big race for him we are the favorite Naive Death, Urban Song, Crimson Line, Crafty Gift. I mean, it's a competitive field, but I think Joker is better than all these guys. I just can't afford to fall asleep. Got to get him going at the right time. He's getting faster still a little bit. And uh, stamina is almost at 70. Yeah, he's, he's certainly in a position to win this. I can definitely get him going a little bit earlier, and I don't think he should burn out. Just get a nice jump on him. Maybe hold off on the whip, because, gosh, that does drain your stamina so much. Hold off on the whip for a little bit, maybe. Just get, give him a comfortable enough cushion where I can just kind of ride the reins for a bit and not have to use the whip until maybe, like, the last... Closer to the last furlong would be ideal. But this thing is still pretty decent, so we should be able to keep him there for a while. Almost perfect start. Great. Good stuff. All right. We're, I mean, we're supposed to win this race, so I'm not focused on anything but our own race here. Now hold back, hold back, because I know what they're going to do. The old, we're going fast, and then we're just going to slow down to barely using any energy type of tactic. Oh, there they starting to slow down already. Nope, not falling for it. Now, I so say we'll ride comfortably here. Then all of a sudden, we'll just start going faster, and they'll just start going slower. 
actually stabilizing today. I'm quite surprised. Alright. Let's get moving here, bud, because we got to get the jump on this field. We can't afford to be napping here. You're fine. You got it. You got it. Push now. Push now. Had to get him going soon. I need as much space as possible. Now we'll get him under the whip at about a furlong and a half. A little bit earlier than I wanted to. Hold on, Joker. Oh, hold on, dude. You're right there. You are right there. Overwhipped. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness. I said I had to give him a comfortable enough cushion, right? Gosh, I almost botched that. Overwhipping. What did I need to overwhip for? He, we, we were clear. Just ride him. Let's just send him to the finish. Easy, Eric, right? Yeah, I know. Joker's card. Another grade one. That's his fourth. So win it. Uh, eight furlongs. Third win at a mile. Second win on the turf. And um, Crim's five, still five length winner, even with all that. Yeah. And uh, with that, he could be leading the GWS sprint as we speak. So thank goodness. Galaxy Star, she's up in the LA Terps, still trying to get our girl a mid-champ title. She is the favorite. Yeah, she should be. Far Boys, good horse, not even close. Native Way, same thing, not even close. Yeah, and Galaxy's still as strong as ever. As strong as she needs to be at this age, so uh, this should be very winnable, very doable. Oh, uh, we already know who's taking the spotlight. It's the wonderful Galaxy Star. Western Tiger with the record here. Feels like he has records at a lot of tracks, but I only raced him 10 times. How does that make sense? Must be just revisiting the same race over and over. That's really all it is. Just seems like it's a lot of races, but it's like if you only race 10 times. Like granted, there could be other records from the AI racing them. They're not all me. Now, struggling to get to the front a little bit here. Are we running a fast pace or what, bro? Gosh. Yeah, we're actually going to run in pretty hard here today. Just had to use quite a bit of energy just to keep up with these front runners. So we got Native Way up here, Shining Genius, Sunny Fleet, and Far Voice. Okay, so most of the um, most of the closest horses to us in favoritism are setting this pace. So that makes a little bit more sense. All right, just want to move inside. Did not want to bump that horse, but I wanted to make sure I kept her here. And I don't want to get blocked, so. Yep, she's fine. I mean, this is our race to win, as it should be. None of these horses are on her level, certainly not. Right, she's still got plenty of stamina left to go. I'm going to get her on the run now. Yep, go, 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 take off, take off, my girl, take off. She's got a great run. Great run is Galaxy Star, and she's gone. That quick, bro. Now, who's the 10 still trying to challenge us? Liberal Bolero, what? The thing, another horse named Bolero, really giving us a run for our money. <sighs> Galaxy Star gets it done. Add it on, it's another... 10 furlong win for the gal. That's her 13th, I believe. 13th grade one victory there for the star, the galaxies of stars. She gets it done. Wins this LA Terp Stakes. She just keeps racking up the dubs, man. Even years past her prime, she continues to find a way to win. You gotta love it. She will be fantastic. Another great brood mare to have. Cleopatra, her stable mate. They literally are like, I swear they've been, have you guys know, they've been inseparable since they were two years old, really. They were developing pretty much at the same rate. They were winning at the same rate. They've peaked at the same rate. They're, they're, they're really doing everything together. They're really like sisters, to be honest. They really are like sisters. Cleopatra, she's the favorite in her 10 furlong race, as she should be. Closest favorite is Standing Idol. They, they're even running the same type of races against the same no competition. From Flying Cowboy out of Oz and Autumn. You think they worked right. They gave me the perfect horse from Oz and Autumn that I wanted, and 
uh, September Sky, I think she'll still be good. But outside of that, like the Autumn awesome Autumn Foals are just kind of, they're just there right now, right? The horses that we have from her. Cleopatra, she is a perfect example of the type of horse I wanted from Autumn Autumn. Lion Cowboy, he's always going to give us the best we can have because like Western Tiger, just always reliable, man. And speaking of, again, like, what are the odds he has records in both of those races? Is this a joke? This is too much weird coincidental whatever it is. It's kind of freaking me out, man. All right. Let's get a good start just to hold her back. So painful. So painful. Gosh, if she was a proceeder, man, take her to the front every time. Immediately. But it's fine. I mean, I think running her as a closer, it does work. It does fit her skill set still. Not going to keep her too far off, though. I don't want to have to pull any miracles and barely get her to the wire. I don't really want to win like that. And just saying it, I've probably talked it into happening, it just feels like. But I'm going to do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. Like, I don't even know if the rail is open, and I don't trust it to be. It just Unless we're running as a proceeder, I'm not going to take the chance. I just I can't play that way. It's gone against me too many times. I just need to rely on my instinct, run her on the outside, unless she's at the front, and I know the inside's open. Uh, positioning is everything sometimes. Get her on the move, because we're separated by a lot of lengths here. It's only a field of 10? It's only a field of 10, but separated by, like, 15 lengths. What is going on? So we've got to get her up. Got to get her rolling now, really. Whip now, my girl. Sorry, I know it's early, but we gotta roll. We gotta roll. She's got a long way to go, but she's got the stamina to hold on. Oh, thank goodness Cleopatra is so strong, bro. Unbelievable. Had to send her really early, and two years out, oh, past her prime, still doing this. Such a good horse, man. And like I said, her and Galaxy Star really can't be separated. They just have to do what each other is doing. It's it's, qu it's quite sweet, if you ask me. Having to try to one-up each other. It's another win for Cleopatra at 10 furlong. She gets it done in the Saturn Stakes. We have more fillies like that coming our way. I don't know which one of the bunch. I don't know if anybody's really stepped out as that filly just yet, yet. Seven length went over standard idol, standard idol, whatever. I don't know if any in the current bunch of stand, you know, made that type of impression yet, but getting close, hopefully. And I think that's it. So all wins except for Valley King, which should have been, felt like it. But uh, we get all the important wins we need it for everybody in that particular week. So there you see Joker's card now leading the sprint, because let's be honest, I think he's better than all those horses. So we just need to secure that for him. Solar Rider still ahead in the turf. I nobody's challenging us in this series. We just need to win out. In the dirt, Burning Wind still twelve points off of Vast Delight. We know that horse isn't probably going to show up at every other GWS dirt race remaining, so we still have a chance to to run all three. The, the sprint and the, and the turf should be ours for sure. Now let me get everybody in a race. And uh, Cleopatra, you're still working on that mid champ title, mile champ cup. I want to save that for somebody else just in case. Nine furlongs, Neptune stakes. There you go. You should be able to win that. And Galaxy Star. You are still working on the long champ title, apparently. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run you probably in the China vase. Yeah, we'll run you in the China vase to close your year. You should still be able to win that. And she's got 75 stamina. So yeah, that should be a breeze. Burning wind, you're good. Valley King. King Cup Autumn for you. If they think you're ready, I mean, I'll toss you in there. Why not? If they think you're ready, okay. That's a race you should be able to win as a four-year-old. I mean, it's not even about his age more so. It's the fact that he's still developing. But he should be able to win that somehow, hopefully. Um, Joker's card. Double S for the Joker. Second double S horse out of this group of six between Jaden's Champion, Sedate Dancer, Joker's Card, September Sky, Shallow Light, and Solo Rider. So two of them are double S's, two of them are S's, and the, the other two are D. Doesn't really make I mean, it, it, it does make sense, I guess. September Sky and Jaden being S, yeah. 
So they'd answer, and, yeah, actually, no, it, it doesn't make sense. Never mind. The game is right. Joker's car. They want you in the print. No, what? We're, we're, we're chasing GWS. We're not doing the Prince Cup. We have to defend our title. We got to run this World Turf Cup. Now, it's a tall task, but... Oh, not World Turf. What am I talking about? World Mile. Duh. That other race is going to be for uh, Solo Rider. I am way off my rocker. It's a good time I'm ending the video. It's time for me to, you know, get some Zs or whatever, bro, because I am off my game. So, a lot of racing still to come at the end of the year. Still a lot to play for. Trying to figure out the two-year-olds. Trying to secure all the GWS titles, really. Um, hopefully, if we can get that done. Still trying to get Cleopatra and Galaxy Star both at least one title before we retire them. Eminem, my master here. Um, I, I just, I don't want fast pace not good on my horses. I just... I, again, I want to see if she's worth it. Maybe she'll be so fast on the dirt and so explosive that I'm like, okay, I'd, I'd kind of be foolish if I let her go. And I just try to stick to a breeding line with her. But again, fast pace, not good. You know, imagine we get a horse that inherits that from her, and then they somehow randomly inherit bears. Since my horses, some of them have randomly inherited it, that ability without having any parent involved in it. That makes me a little bit worried. That'd be two bad abilities to have. Bears is about the only bad ability we have to work with. We fortunately don't have any horses with any of those other abilities that I don't like, you know? So I have to be... I, I'm still trying to be sensible. I, I want to see how she runs on the dirt when we do. And if she ends up impressing me way more than I thought, at least more than one time, I don't think one time she'd be like, oh, yeah, for sure. If I could do that two or three times, maybe, consider. That's going to do it, though. I appreciate you guys' love and support. On the channel, as always, make sure you smash the like button. It does help out a lot. Leave your comments. I will respond to all of you, of course, as always, in the comment section below. Until next time, little horse racing gamers, and I know. have a great and fantastic day. I'll see you later. Quack, quack, and, uh, you know, goodbye. Later.